As we move into a new year, we often think about new intentions and what we are releasing. And today I'm going to be giving you my bowl burning ceremony ritual, my release ritual. And we're going to talk about reflecting, releasing, and recentering before you move into the new year. Now you can do these techniques at any time you are ready to release and set new intentions. These can be really perfect with new moons and full moons as well. And I know that the new year brings up all of these new goals and desires. So get ready, get a pen and paper, and listen in. Welcome to Spiritual and Ambitious. I'm your host, Whitney McNeil. I'm a certified medium and spiritual teacher, and I help spiritual and ambitious souls just like you live your life purpose through your career and attract abundance by connecting into your intuition and spirit guides. Let's get spiritual and ambitious. Thanks for joining me on this very last episode of 2022. Whenever you're listening to this, know that this message is here for you. And I do have a message for you out of my Messenger Spirit Oracle deck. And it is the message of air. Stop overthinking and start communicating. Now, what this means is we think, we think, we think, but we actually don't take action or we sometimes don't communicate it out to our relationships, which really includes your spirit guides. So you've got to get on the same page with your spirit guides. I remember years ago, I wanted to start my own business and I was so excited. I was finally going to do it. And I got a reading with my mentor, who, by the way, was 100% connected to spirit. I'd seen it times over and over and over. And I sat down and he did not tell me what I wanted to hear. He was like, you're going to work for somebody else. And I thought, oh, no, like that is not what I had planned. And then I realized, uh uh-oh, I actually hadn't talked to my guides about it. I was making these plans. I was actually talking about it with friends and family, but I didn't tell my guides I was serious and I was ready to do this. And when you tell your guides that you're serious, they will create opportunities for you that are in alignment with those goals. And when I did that, I started my own business. It was very successful. And when I went full time, It was as if overnight I had a full-time business. I don't know if the Google algorithm changed or what, but my spirit guides knew the timing. So if you want to start your own business, then jump on the wait list for Spiritual Business Incubator. Opening very soon, you can go to messengerspirits.com forward slash WL. So let's talk about reflecting, releasing, and recentering before we move into the new year. The holiday season could be really draining. And then we get this space in between where we feel like it's the void. It's almost like I'm still trying to get all my stuff done from the last year. But at the same time, it feels weird because not everybody's open and they're still kind of wrapped up in holidays. Now I got the new year coming up. It's a kind of a weird week. It's a great week of the void. And in the void, we get to call it the transition cycle as we transition into the new year. A lot of people don't like transition, which really is change. And people are fearful of change. Now, if you didn't have this transition cycle, it would be pretty shocking. You would literally be going from one thing that you're doing every day to then automatically doing something else every day. It would be a shock if you just woke up and everything was different. So you literally need transition and I want to help you honor that. So I used to do a bowl burning ceremony every year when I was the president of a spiritualist church years ago. And then I would also do it in my business when I used to do in-person classes and things like that. I will sometimes still do this online with my students but I wanna share some of my best tips that you can do. So first off, grab a journal or a piece of paper. And I want you to call in all of your spirit guides. Call in your guides, call in your higher self, 
And I like to hold my hands over my heart and just connect into my heart energy. So I will just take a few moments and start to feel love, this beautiful gratitude coming over me. And I ask for my higher self to help me see the highest perspective possible. And I want my spirit guides there so we can get on the same page. And I will take a few moments and I will write down everything that I've learned from the past year. I will write down all the lessons that situations taught me. And I will write down in gratitude what I have really soaked in. So what this means is I have a list of gratitude. I will say, I'm so grateful that I was able to learn X, Y, Z. Thank you so much for teaching me X, Y, Z and everything. When I say everything, I mean the goods and the bads. What was I really grateful for? What are the highlights that I'm taking away from this year? So of course, I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm going to review the last year and I will be grateful for things. So for me, I had surgery. I'm going to say, I'm so grateful that this surgery helped me with feeling better in my body and that it is complete. I am so grateful that I have stepped fully into my power and I have reinforced my boundaries. So I will say it that way in a sense of I have learned these lessons, even the people that are not so great to deal with. So if you have a business, I know that there might be some clients, maybe there's some haters online, whatever it is, you can say, you know, I'm so grateful that is complete and that I have learned that lesson and that is completed. Maybe you had a tough conversation with somebody and you can say, you know, that situation really helped me step into my power and cleared my throat chakra. I'm so grateful for that. So you're recounting the lessons that you've learned. And one of the sneaky kind of ways, reason why it's good to do this is that you're telling your energy and your body and your mind, I have learned that lesson. Thank you. I no longer need it. So it's more of a, this is complete and I'm sending this with gratitude. I appreciate it and I'm sending it with gratitude. This is a powerful vibration to be in gratitude and you can't just make it up. So I'm telling you it's a little sneaky, but if you're just trying to slide it in there, but you really don't feel the gratitude, then it's not going to work. I really need you to connect into that heart chakra and really find the truth in how it's helped you. So when you can see that light, when you can see that silver lining, that is what I'm talking about. That is when your gratitude goes out into the universe and it's so wonderful. So with that Being said, write down all the things that you are so very thankful for and what you have learned. Now, when you have done that, one of the things that I'll do is I'll take that piece of paper and I'll put it at my heart and I will just beam love and I will then visualize my heart chakra energy. So I'll see a pink or a green, just send out gratitude and I'll ask for it to reach all of those lessons and also just fill up any kind of funky energy that I might still have to clear it out and replace it with gratitude. Okay, now that you've got your gratitude list, I want you to get a new piece of paper. And now I want you to write down all the things that you are releasing, all the things that you no longer want to be with you in the new year. You don't want it to be in your energy anymore. This can be people, careers, situations, old patterning, thoughts that keep coming up, old dreams that keep coming up, family patterns, whatever it is, an emotion, a feeling, something that's not working well. I'd like for you to write down now all the things that you are releasing. So with your releasing, release them with gratitude. I release this recurring dream that comes up and I've appreciated that it's tried to tell me something or whatever the lesson is here. And I release you. I am grateful that you taught me X, Y, Z, whatever it is. I release you. I thank you for being in my life and now I release you. 
So we're doing this as in it's been completed. I'm releasing you. Even when your ego, so let's talk about your ego and imposter syndrome, like I'm not good enough to, you know, start my own business or to expand it or make a certain amount of money or whatever thought it is to attract the perfect partner, whatever that is. You can say, thank you for this thought. I appreciate that you have helped me by trying to keep me safe. And this can bring up a whole lot of other emotions. A lot of times when we feel like we're not good enough, It comes from this place of, I want to keep you safe. I don't want you to start your own business because that doesn't feel safe. It feels risky. And I'm going to keep you hiding because relationships are scary or starting a business is scary. So usually it comes from a fear place. So we can find the thank you in it by saying, thanks for trying to keep me safe. And while I appreciate that, I release you. I'm good. I've got this. So I'm helping you bring gratitude into even those little things that we don't like. So let's talk about weight. Maybe you're trying to lose weight and it's just been stuck and stagnant and you're kind of irritated and pissed off about it. Well, I get it. But you can also say, you know, thanks for being here and keeping me warm and being part of my journey. You help me realize what I need to release and I release you. I release all excess weight that is no longer for me and I release it in a healthy, balanced way. So when you are releasing these things, I want you to add a little clause of, I release you in a healthy, balanced way. So sometimes people say, I release all emotions about X, Y, Z, or I release my anger. And let me tell you, when you seriously set intention with your guides and your higher self to release anger, I'm going to tell you, you're going to get a flood of anger and you're going to be pissed, mad, and whatever about things. The reason why is because you're releasing it. Like it's coming up from the surface and it's like, oh, here it is. So add a little clause of, you know, I release you in a healthy, balanced way. (laughs) Trust me from experience. This is my personal experience and it's also from my friends and my students and what I've seen. So I release you in a healthy, balanced way. So I want you to write all of your lists out and then we are going to move into the next steps of what to do when we come back after this quick break. If self-care is important to you and you love all the spiritual things or you're looking for that perfect spiritual gift for that someone special, I'm going to invite you to check out my holiday sale over at messengerofspirit.com forward slash holiday. All right. Thanks for hanging in there with me. We're getting ready to move into the next portion of our release. And so just as a recap, you've written down all the things you're grateful for, and now you've written down all the things that you are releasing. The next step is to burn what you are releasing. And you can burn that entire list. And you can also burn what you're grateful for, or you can keep it as a record if you would like to. It's really up to you because that's your gratitude list. I will tend to keep it so I can kind of go back and reflect and just kind of remind myself, but you can also burn it if you want to. It has the energy of gratitude. So you're mixing gratitude with what you're releasing, but I've given you some steps and how to write what you're releasing. So it also has that good energy as you burn it. So how do you burn it? What I normally do with a bowl burning ceremony, you can get a pot or I used to get a glass bowl. And if you get a glass bowl, I would fill it with sand. And as you fill it with sand, then you can put a candle in the sand if you want to. So it's usually a glass bowl that kind of goes up all to the top. It's pretty high. Fill a little bit with sand. So maybe let's say an eighth to a quarter of the height and then put a candle in there or a couple candles in there to light. I've also done this with a pot. So with a pot, you can fill it with sand or I've just done it without sand as well, as long as it's safe to burn in. Now, whatever you're doing this, please make sure you're in a place where you're safe. You are not going to burn your surroundings. If you live in a place where there are fire bans, I live in Arizona. So certain times of the year, there are fire bans. Make sure you're doing everything illegally and appropriately and open a window, prepare, all that stuff. So make sure you're being safe. And I'm also Reiki attuned. So if you have Reiki, you're attuned to Reiki energy, or you can call in your spiritual healing guides to send energy to this as you burn it. So there's another cool thing I want to tell you about. There is a piece of paper out there 
called flying wish paper. It actually comes in a package. But what I'm trying to tell you is you get this piece of paper and you can write it all down on this piece of paper. And when you burn it, you'll see it fly up and spin around. It goes up like into the air. You know, I was just thinking that actually goes with the message that I told you in the beginning of this episode with air, right? Stop thinking, start communicating. I've done this as well. It's really fun, but you can choose how you want to do this. And by the way, if you feel like you can't burn these, you can also bury them or you can rip them up and dissolve them in water, however it works for you. But I'll talk about the burning part of it because that is really the burning ceremony that I've done. So what you do is you want to take these pieces of paper, depending on how large it is, you might want to rip them up into smaller segments so it's easier to burn. So if you want to do that, you can fold the pieces of paper, take them, hold them at your heart, take a moment and say, I release you with gratitude. I release you from my mind, body and spirit. And I ask my spirit guides to help release any other energy that needs to be released. I ask for my higher self to help me release these as well. And I ask that my body, mind, and spirit fully release these. I ask for my spirit guides to remove all cords to these items. And so again, if you've ripped them up or you've folded them, you can say these and you hold them at your heart. That's what you do. Now that you said them, I'd like for you to get a lighter. Generally speaking, one of those lighters that has the longer stem on it. I mean, you can use matches or you can use just a smaller lighter, but it's way easier if you use one where you are feeling a lot safer. Then what you can do is simply put the paper and burn it in the pot or the bowl and then hold your hands over, not like on top because it's going to burn your hands but just kind of a little farther back and just ask for spirit to help send healing energy as it's released and that you release with gratitude. If you're Reiki attuned, you know how to send Reiki to it. So we're not going to burn our hands as we hold it over the fire and the smoke, but we're going to kind of put them a little bit farther out, but directed towards them. And we're just going to intend that this is released. You might start to notice that some pieces of the paper are not fully burned. If that happens, get some tongs. I use tongs that you would use to flip any kind of thing that you're cooking. And I will take it and burn it and continue to do this until all the bits of paper are burned. And when they are all burned, know that they are released which is really beautiful. One of the other things I'll do is I'll take my hands, I'll put them with palms facing inward to me, parallel to my body. I hold my hands up over my head. Then I will take my hands and I will move them quickly downward over my body and go, and I intend that it's released. So if there's anything else that you want to add to it, you can. And now you are in the void. The universe loves a void. The universe loves to fill a void. Here we go. I'd like for you to get a new piece of paper. And now I'd like for you to connect in with your heart. Again, you're calling in your higher self and your spirit guides, and you're asking for inspiration. And I want you to write down all the things that you're inviting in. I want you to think about the emotions you want to feel, the actionable items that you're doing, and all the things that are exciting to you. So you could say, I live my purpose abundantly through my business. I am so excited to help thousands of people through my one-on-one service work. I am so happy connecting with my perfect aligned soulmate. And you can add some clauses to this, such as, I am so excited for X, Y, Z, for the highest and the best. Whatever feels really good to you. I want you to think about all the things that you're bringing into the next year. Now, you don't want to get too cluttered with it. Sometimes we're like, I'm going to be doing this project and this project and this project. 
I really want you to focus on what really lights you up, what you're really excited to do. And then I also want you to think about your energy and emotion. How do you want to feel? I live my life joyously. I have so much financial freedom. I am traveling wherever and wherever I want to go. And I have the most perfect aligned relationships around me. So think about it in that way. And then I want you to write them all down. Once you've written them down, I would like for you to take a moment and create some affirmations. Now, affirmations are very powerful and they are designed to align your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies on the same page. So when you are creating affirmations, keep them short and sweet, make them in the present moment, not in the future, not in the past, and keep them in the positive place and no contraction. So for instance, if you want to lose weight, don't say something like, I no longer eat tons of food every day. That's just going to attract you eating tons of food every day. So you could say, I am loving my healthy weight. I weigh my most aligned weight, something of that sort. So you're wanting to think about how you feel. I am full of energy. My body is in perfect health. That kind of thinking is what I'm after here. So the reason I want you to write down all the things you're inviting in for a couple reasons, we're going to send them out into the universe, but I also want you to make some affirmations. Affirmations are going to be shorter than probably what you're writing. And then I'd like for you to pick three to five, write them on a post-it note and keep them because you're going to be saying these affirmations each and every day as you step into the new year. I'd like for you to say them with feeling, with emotion, and with power out loud before you start your day. It helps you become in alignment with your goals. Your spirit guides start to know what you are wanting and also your higher self. So now you have your affirmations and you have everything else you are inviting in. Now I want you to look at the page of what you're inviting in. And I'd like for you to call in your guides or just acknowledge them because really they're already there because you've already called them in. And I'd like for you to read your list out and say, hey guides, I am very excited for the new year. And I really would like for you to create opportunities for me that are in alignment with this list. These are all the things I'm calling in. And now I want you to read them out loud with power, with reverence and with emotion. And now you are on the same page with your guides. I'd like for you to take that piece of paper. You can either rip it up or just fold it, put it at your heart, feel all the love with it. And now I'd like for you to burn it. And you're going to say, why am I burning this? You're burning it because you are now sending this energy and these wishes out into the universe. Place it over the candle or light it with your lighter over the bowl or inside the bowl or inside the pot, make sure you're doing it safely. Now, if you have a fire outside and you're doing it in a safe manner, you can also do this as well. That's completely fine. A lot of people do this in the winter months that way. As long as you are safe and you're not catching anything on fire that doesn't need to be on fire. As you are burning, I'd like for you to say, I call on the most aligned opportunities for these intentions. And I ask for the universe to send aligned opportunities. I ask for my spirit guides to send and create aligned opportunities for these intentions. And as I release these intentions into the universe, I know that it is complete and I know that it will return to me. And then you are done. You've got your affirmations. I want you to post them in a place where you can say them every day as you call them in. And it feels so good to release the energy and become lighter. All right, my friend, I hope that you have a very, very happy new year. I will be back next week in the new year with a brand new episode. And until then, here's to staying spiritual and ambitious. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. And if you loved it, would you please share it with a friend? I would also love your review. 
and a reminder to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find me at messengerspirit.com and you can take the four intuitive languages quiz and find show notes there too. If you want to connect on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, you can find me at Messenger of Spirit. If you want to continue the conversation, join my free Facebook group at messengerofspirit.com forward slash group. I'll meet you right here next week. Here's to stand spiritual and ambitious. This podcast is part of the Sound Advice FM network. Sound Advice FM, women's voices amplified.